Can you guys see me? <laughs> I need to check. Uh, going live? Ah, okay. So, we're live. I, I guess it just took a little longer then. Um, <laughs> uh, it says we're live, yeah. Okay. Good. Um, back to the game. And actually into the right browser. Uh, I'm doing everything on one laptop now, so it's a little complicated now. So yeah, all right, the people are here. Thanks, uh, guys. I somehow can't see the stream on my own tablet next to me, which makes no sense, but uh, whatever. Oh, I think now something's happening. Okay, good. Um, then uh, here's the new update, 9.7. We got the new robot, Sheng Lu, new pilot, new drone. Uh, I will show you these things. New ultimate Titan, Ao Ming, and Gendarme will be coming uh, later. Um, and, uh, and we will show this to you later. And uh, there is also a, uh, an update, a rebalance that has taken place. Seraph durability 15%, dot damage reduction uh, on the uh, Hokochi reduced, so it will take more damage during its ability run. The Orpheon uh, will get less built-in weapon damage, and the bonus for blocking damage is also decreased. Uh, and durability decreased. Uh, more dura no, durability increase on the Orokochi. Revenant got a buff. More uh, shorter cooldown. More durability, 15%. Blight hazard damage uh, and decay damage by 10%. Chimera is interesting. Four seconds less reload, so 30% reload scratched off. Uh, we'll have a look at that in another video. Damper and Tamer damage minus 30%. And it's still going to be ridiculous. Can you believe how overpowered the weapon was? Um, but yeah, that's how they have to be introduced, of course. Of course! And Deceiver Trickster's deaths dot stacks can no longer be capped, but the damage is decreased by 50%. Let's see how that destroys the game. Marquez, Hussar, and D uh, Drag Dragoon have damage increased by 10 meters, and shot grouping increased by Shredder up to 250 meters. So, back into the game. Um, let's have some fun! Uh, and test these new things. Let me show you what I've got for you. We have the new Shen Lu robot three times, and I've built three different setups. One with a new weapon, Liming and Fang Bao. Uh, remember, this is like a scorpion. It teleports behind you, but it teleports behind three enemies one after another before it will actually, uh, you know, uh, teleport back to original original point. And it will activate an uh, Aegis shield on top of that. Now, Liming, Fang Bao, uh, 100 meters range and electrification that will hit all enemies in front of you, like in an arc, and cause lockdown. Then we have these setups here. The new Ch uh, Ching Ting drone uh, with electric bite, also doing the same thing with lockdown. 7% more damage, 10% more damage against lockdown targets. That's why this is a useful combination. And 150% lockdown duration, that means plus 50% longer the enemies are standing still locked down. I don't like it. I hate robot uh, effects in the game that take control of your robot away. Uh, just in general, I hate all of them. And uh, and this makes it worse. Oh my goodness, I forgot to change the pilot skills. Oh no. The la uh, this legendary pilot Starlight Blessing um, by uh, Bai Ching uses her personal uh, thing to increase the strength of the Absorber Shield um, more. Guys, are you going to give me three, four minutes to, um, to do this uh, pilot stuff? Because unfortunately, I seem to have been very professional in my preparation for this live stream and totally forgot to do this. Uh, which means now first I have to figure out which uh, things can we do. Uh, Feng Bao deals increased damage. That's nothing we need. Whoa! Clever Survivor, Death Survivor and Foolhardy? What? Replenishes one ability charge. Replenishes ability after Shen Lu's... Do what? How? How does it have both of them? All right, we're going to choose both of them. I don't know if that is possible. Uh, more damage output for more durability. No, thank you. Oh, no, no, no. You can only use one of those two things. The others will disappear. One ability charge after durability drops. But that's the wrong one. We need the uh, robot ability. Because I don't think it has... Oh, wait. Can you have four teleport jumps with it? Nah. Okay, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's keep going. More speed. Now you can see how I typically skill the robots if, you know, resources wouldn't matter. Shield capacity sounds useful. Uh, increased movement speed while ability is active. That could be good, but it's probably not such an have to because you're teleporting literally into face-hugging distance. So uh, that may, may not be something we need. Each second uh, repair, of course. Uh, active module recharge faster, must have. And all uh, last longer is not so important. 
More durability is more important, though. Um, do we already have it? Yeah, we have it. But we can have more durability in terms for speed. That makes sense, because, again, we teleport to the enemy. We don't have to walk very fast. And then we're using all these sweet resources here to do that. Now, unfortunately, this is one out of three. <laughs> Three legendary pilots that we have to skill in order to get an accurate representation of the maximum state of this robot. So I'm glad I did all that so well in advance. Um, taking too long. I know, Travis. I I'm sorry, man. Uh, just go. Uh, oh, sorry. I accidentally clicked. Um, take. Get yourself a cup of coffee or something uh, I'll, uh, and come back in, in three minutes. Or you guys watching later on demand, uh, you can uh, basically just skip ahead. I have to do it. And unfortunately, I forgot about this. Uh, my uh, my apology here. Um, let's just do the same thing we just did on the other side. Shield capacity will increase that. Then we're doing, taking ability, robots ability. Yep, death survivor. That's right. Then uh, increase movement speed while ability is active. No, thank you. Speed instead. Then we do durability. Yes. Weapon damage for durability. Nah, it's the same. Uh, repair per second. Yep. And then durability. Uh, repair per second. Yeah, we have half of the skills are already fitting. Durability, but speed is um, lowered. Yep. We'll do that. Uh, we have already eyes on me. I would feel sorry for the 151 view, uh, mem members if we don't have a squad with uh, with the members. Oh, I can't uh, I can't do this on this live stream. But I did want to do uh, this again. Oh. In defense while ability is active is very important too. Damn it, I didn't see that before. Uh, that is kind of a half to actually. But we don't have the recharge active modules faster, which is also a half to. So I guess I'm taking the speed then. Uh, okay, so there's a bunch of really useful uh, things here. Anyway, uh, eyes on me. Thanks, man. Uh, we're going into gameplay in just a moment. I think I started the stream also three, four minutes earlier. So maybe you guys can uh, look past that for a second. Uh, all right. One last, um, one last uh, thing here. One last pilot and then we're ready. <laughs> Again, I'm really sorry, guys. I messed up. My bad. I thought I prepared everything. Thumbnail, uh, title, everything said, the hang hangar build, everything done. I felt really good about myself. <laughs> and now this, wonderful. That is completely worthless. Uh, we need uh, this. Nine, not damage again, uh, match, match again. Uh, then we need shield capacity, yes. Durability, yes. Defense while ability is active, yes. Durability but speed is lowered, yes. Sh Dude, this one was perfectly equipped. Dude, I didn't have to do anything for this one. Oh, hold on. One thing we don't have is sh uh, repair per second, right? This is very important. Repair per second is very important, but... What do I have this time that I didn't have this last time? It's like... Something is missing every time. Durability, but speed is lowered. Recharge. Shenlu weapon there. Ah, this. Yeah, we don't need the first one. Instead, we get uh, repair per second. There it is. See how freaking good I've become in this over the time. Huh? Huh? Who would have you? Who would have been so quick? <laughs> All right. So we have these three robots in different setups with uh, ultimate glory and igniter. Short range, so it should work great. We have uh, Unknown Shatter and Brisant, should work really well. And then, of course, the new weapons. Then we have a Lynx with the two Heavy Fang Bows. And I'm running an Ardent Blitz because you guys wanted me to run Blitz, so I decided to do this. By the way, Sh Shadow Dark 372 thanks, man. Um, appreciate the contribution. And uh, let's finally go. Good. Been uh, long enough of an intro. Jeez. It's like 10 minutes of blah, blah. Hmm. Okay, first time me trying the uh, Shen, Shen Lu uh, on the live server. And uh, yeah, we're starting with the new one and the new weapons immediately. Looks pretty cool. And we should have 350 meters range on the teleportation. And a decent Aegis shield for a short time. And we should be able to teleport to more enemies as we go. So let's start with him. Okay. Then we're face shifting. Oh man, I almost have him. Can I teleport behind him again? Yeah, dude, I can teleport behind the same guy one more time. That's crazy. And I have 40 seconds of time. Now I can teleport behind him. 
Are you kidding me? That's how quick I can kill them and then up on this guy? Uh-oh. Oh, and then I teleport back. Wow. That's the first time I used this robot and I already obliterated everybody. You know what we have to look at? If we get the shield back between every jump. 96,000. Hold on, I only have... Uh-oh, behind him, he's shield breaking. Here we go. And pop, there goes this guy. Let's go on him, he's just landed after his ability. Pop. Then on him. Oh, hello! Pop. And then we're going home. What the heck? I don't know, man. It feels like freaking hacking at this point. Seriously. And I have 300... 230,000 Aegis shield? Are you saying the shield stacks and stays? Is that what you're saying? By the way, this weapon does not need a quantum radar. Because you can... And I have my battle shield, shield ready, too. Okay, let's uh, book it. Oh, I can't, actually. But I can teleport behind him. Oh, that was my last stand. Oh, no! Okay. <laughs> so when they focus me enough, I actually do get destroyed. Uh, why would you... Uh, Feng Bao... Why would you promote this? Man, I'm playing it for the first time. I don't even know how strong the robot is. On the test server, I couldn't even play it because it was literally bugged. And the fact that you can jump behind enemies... I already didn't like this about the Scorpion. Those of you who uh, remember my uh, early days, I already hated this on the Scorpion too. That you can jump behind enemies. I knew it! Now I can jump behind him. Hey! <laughs> hey, buddy! Yep. Then up on him. Behind the hawk. And now I would like to stay here, but it seems like I have to uh, jump away. So that's different from uh, from the scorpion. The scorpion can, uh, can choose to stay. Capture a beacon, for example, you know. Or make the best out of a situation. For example, I could have killed that hawk. But the game forced me to jump back uh, into my anchor point. So that's a little confusing. But I'm assuming this is how it's intended to be. I don't think you're supposed to be able to stay. Uh, keep up the great content, man. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're just getting started for this live stream, man. Let's jump on the rook. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, whoa, there's a lot of titans now. Uh, let's jump on him and then on... Ooh, and then on him. Oh, no, I can't do it. He's too far away. I would like to jump on... But it doesn't matter, because I... Even if I jump on him, I can't stay there, right? Yeah. The time is over and I teleport back. I cannot actually stay at the enemy. That's a little bit weird. So let's go and take out this... Um, this Newton. And help out from here. I have to reload now, but that's fine. I have 40 seconds of time. Our Minos is doing a great job here. Unfortunately, didn't quite get him. Now I'm teleporting behind him. As he wants to fire. See this? He wanted to fire at me, but uh, couldn't. And again, behind him. And then I teleport away. Now he's confused as to what the heck has just happened. I wonder if he can lift me high enough to kill me. Uh, oh no, I think Eyes on Me is uh, already doing some more <laughs> memberships. Eyes on Me gifted 10 memberships again. Dude. And sorry, face shift, brother. And hello. Uh, yeah, I'm getting shot from behind by something. Yeah, the dot effect killed me. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's try this one then. The enemies are really strong here. Two rooks. Oh man, I think we're in trouble. He's jumping up, and I'm jumping after him. Hey! Oh, what? No, no, no. 
Dude, that's not cool. We're jumping after him again. Hello. Now all his weapons go nowhere. And my ultimate uh, weapons can do a lot of damage to him. Unfortunately, I want to stay here now, but I can't. The game will force me to jump back. But I could have beaten him. I could have won this fight. But not, not when the game teleports me back. Against my will. Yeah. Alright, interesting. Um, against Titans, the whole thing becomes less powerful. Uh, because I can't kill Titans quickly with this setup. So, but regular robots seem to have gone down really quickly. It was crazy. It was like three minutes of battle and then the enemy team had all six Titans in the battle and there was nothing for me to fight anymore. That wasn't a Titan, but um, yeah. Using a King Ching Ting on Ultimate Glory, yeah. That is a good idea. Let's tr let's start. Actually, you know what? Let's do free for all. Do you think that a Curie can tank down a Shen Lu? Uh, the Curie can make himself very hard to beat with the extra health, and the turrets will defend him. Um, but the Shen Lu can always jump around, right? So, by the way, thanks again, Eyes on Me, for contributing here and uh, gifting two uh, ten memberships. You guys, you are awesome. Did you know last stream? We had an insane amount of, uh, you know this, uh, obviously, eyes on me, but not everybody may know it. Uh, we had an insane amount of gifted memberships, 120 through you, and we got $300 from the donations. And the cr crazy thing is people didn't even know that I had uh, my birthday just a few days earlier. <laughs> so it was like, um, people didn't even know that. That is so funny. All right, let's jump behind him. He's got ultimate orcans. All right, let's see if we can drop him. Nope, he seems to be teleporting. I, I, Did you see that? 40 seconds was not enough time to kill him. 40 seconds was not enough time to drop this guy. He's so resistant. Uh, but now we can. Boop, there we go. Wow, that was a tough battle right there, man. 40 seconds and I could not kill him. He used, I think, two phase shifts. He used one ability. Uh, and uh, yeah, he used whatever is possible to use in the game. So that was that was like the maximum level meta. Oh, I got the kill and I teleported back. That was the last thing I did in my 40 seconds. <laughs> okay. That was interesting. Oh, hello, dude. Do you know I'm here? He doesn't know. Okay, hold on. But somebody knows. Somebody knows and is shield breaking me. Uh oh. Uh, unfortunately, I have to empty my things. Yes, I got him. Where's the other guy? What? He died. He doesn't find me. <laughs> now he's gonna fly away and I'm just gonna teleport after him. But. Only for a second before I teleport back. Look, he just doesn't get it. I'm everywhere and nowhere at the same time. I'm everywhere and nowhere at the same time. And he's already shield breaking and activating the next ability. This guy is shield breaking against his shield... Uh, face shifting against his shield break. No, he's out of range. I was focused on... Alright, let's jump on him. He's stealthed. Yep, got him. Here's a Curie. So that was the question before, right? All right. Face shifting. He's face shifting now. My uh, flamethrowers need charging again. Yeah, I my my the problem is these ultimate uh, igniters. Dude, these things reload the whole time. These things reload the entire time, man. I can't fire. Every time I need my damage output, I'm reloading with these weapons. It's crazy. Uh, whoa, we have 70 Canadian dollars coming in here from Magnus Highness. Hey, Manny, love your videos, bro. Hey, thank you, dude. Whoa, 70 Canadian dollars. Thank you so much. And all the way greet greetings back to Canada, my friend. All the way back to Canada. Really appreciate the contribution, man. That is a lot of, a lot of, a lot of help right there. Boom. Okay. 
Face shifting. Okay, jumping back behind him. Okay, I'm reloading my weapons now because I need it anyways. He's got a nice titan behind his back. He's gonna use this ability again, isn't he? Yeah, I have to really get used to uh, this robot because... I kind of really seem to suck a little bit right now. Let's try the weak ver weak version again with... Uh, it's not weak, but it's just that these freaking reload times, they, they, they screw me uh, over. And now back next ability. Wonderful. Okay. Behind him. Where is he? And then he landed here, okay. Got the kill, nice. Just as I was teleporting back. Very nice. But you see this Alfion is still a beast. Uh, I mean, the Alfion is, uh, is really tough to beat. Uh oh, he's got the... Um, he's got the f uh, Newton Titan ready. And I can't attack him. And he wants to make me hover. Not sure if he got me. No, he uh, didn't. I don't know what happens if he uh, if he does this. Yeah, he used it on me now. He's getting attacked by someone else from the side, but he wants me so badly. Look, <laughs> dude, enjoy having this battle behind you. I'm gonna even actually even help the enemy. I'm gonna help him. Whoa, okay, he turns around and instantly deletes uh, the enemy there. And of course I'm reloading again. And there goes your shot into nowhere, friend. Yeah, he's almost dead. And I'm gonna be teleporting back now, Tsek. And here we go. I'm gonna get lifted. There it is. They're both shooting me. I'm gonna teleport behind him. Get lifted again. Can we beat him, I wonder? Shield on me. I think we can actually win this fight now. After this shield, I have another shield on me. Reload again. And I got an assist. Great. But hey, we did beat him. Or we would have beaten him in any anyways. <laughs> it's weird, we're only we only have six kills, but we are actually winning this fight right now. Okay, I wanna get killed by the Titan if possible, not by him. So I'm walking around the corner, making sure the Titan is the one to kill me, not him. Come on. Thank you. Not not giving him the kill. What could we try? Uh, Ardent Blitz, maybe? Yeah, let's try the Ardent Blitz. Could be a bad idea. Uh, but I guess we're gonna see. The Orpheon is definitely not going to die from that Rook. Because it's a pretty crazy meta Orpheon here. But then again, a Rook is also something you can barely ever kill. He's jumping away. Okay. Now we're doing some sweet damage to him. Bringing him down below 50%. He activates his next ability. All right, who's gonna win this, I wonder? Okay, the uh, Ohokochi won it. Uh, oh, I have the reload, I, I forgot. I should have probably reloaded sooner. And now his ability is back. I thought there was a continuous reload on the weapon. I actually messed up a little bit here. I actually messed up a little. Okay. Let's suppress him right after my last stand. Here we go. And see if we can drop him. But I think I'm not going to be able to do it in time. Yep, his ability comes back. Yep. No chance, and now we're second place. 
Yep, I expected this much because that's what the Orochis do. They cannot be killed. And I made actually the mistake here. I make a mistake that cost me this place. Uh, the fact that I didn't reload my weapon. All right, obviously he is not very interested in in me. He wants the other player. And my point is to protect the other player. Actually, he executed him. Nice. So he's got to have to come back. And I'm not sure he's going he's bringing his Okochi back, of course. I can't kill him. He's gonna face hug me. This way I cannot deal damage. I can't fly now. If I fly, I will not be able to deal damage to him. Yep, this, this match is lost. But it's not because of this Titan is bad. It's lost because I uh, didn't reload. Uh, this, this robot is bad. It's lost because I didn't reload in time. That's why it got lost. If I had reloaded the, uh, my weapon, I would have killed him. I, I thought it's a continuous reload. Okay, we're gonna do this again. But you see, Orpheon and Meta, top end Orpheon Meta and top end uh, Orochochi Meta is stronger. Uh, by the way, we had uh, donations coming in from Magnus Highness. Uh, hope you play, ho hope to play against you someday. Uh, also with uh, 28 Canadian dollars. Whoa, Canada is strong today. <laughs> Um, and uh, beheaded with ha late happy birthday money. Greetings from your Aussie friend. <laughs> beheaded. Thank you, my friend. And uh, good to see you on stream, my friend. Awesome. And then uh, we have Magnus Highness with 28 Canadian. And um, then we have J Jamel with 25 AED. Uh, School of Ravana 101. Those new Zapper weapons. Oh, you know what one, uh, you want to and we know just gotta love. Gotta, gotta. What? Zapper weapons money. Oh, you know you want to, and we know you just gotta. Look, you mean like using them? I, uh, I do so far I'm not the biggest fan of these weapons because they are very situational. You have to get close. That means a scorpion can use them very well, and the Shenlu can use them very well. Maybe an angler, a Ravana, perhaps. Um, but there are many robots, for example, an Orpheon would be terrible with it because you're flying barely in range in altitude um, to even uh, deal damage to your enemies, right? So I think many robots simply can't make use of this weapon. Uh, what is that? So one player exited the game, this player is a... He doesn't know where I am. All right, yeah, you have to reload these weapons. You have to fire them empty. Otherwise, you're not going to have any firepower left. So that was... Uh, oh, five euros from Stefan. Uh, so thank you guys for <laughs> the late happy birthday. <laughs> Appreciate it. So, and uh, jumping on him again. Wait, I'm teleporting back already? Hey, how did I already teleport back? So his ability is offline and he can recharge his ability completely free now. I can't do a thing against him. I have no chance against this battle now. No way. No way to win this. I, I don't know why I teleported back. Did I press too many times or was the time already over? Ah, the time was over because before that I fought the... Um, what's it called here? Uh, the, the Cyrus Ball. And that's why I lost the uh, ability already. So enemy four exits the match. Now there's like two players remaining. Let's see if we can take that kill. Oh, I got blinded. Oh, that's just great. I could still get the kill, but uh, the blinding really sucked. Okay, yeah, I can't, I cannot even uh, decide to uh, go back, I can't. Now I'm back and now I kind of don't want it. Wow, I'm EMP'd. Wow, dude, I got EMP'd together with, oh, it's a, it, it was a Typhon, that's why. Lockdown and EMP, GG, my friend. 
Okay. So let's go for this guy. No, I, I actually I don't like playing the Sheng Lu. I'm not I'm not enjoying this very much because it's uh, you have no control over uh, where you are and where where you will be. You cannot decide to uh, to do what you want. You're just gonna you're you're basically always left under the um, what's it called here? And look how I'm just getting pummeled around by this Orokochi. He is just playing with me like I'm a little toy. Activates this ability and becomes immune to anything, pretty much. Okay, here he comes back. Alright. I'm jumping on the Orokochi there. Got him. So he just used his ability. Uh, but he's gonna have his next ability ready in just a second. Where is the other guy? There he is. Can I teleport away? Yeah! Yo! I just teleported back, that's the thing. I need to get around the corner, I can't make it in time. Nah. This thing is just not fast enough or I don't know. <laughs> I got no no chance against this Orokochi. The only chance I have is with this setup. Uh, when I really catch him in the right time. This setup has a chance, but you have to reload your weapons first. If you don't reload your weapons first, you're 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 boo doomed. So see my my 30 seconds, they're just running away. They're running away, my running away, they're running away my my seconds. And I couldn't finish him off because, again, I teleport against my will. Terrible. Plays terrible. Plays absolute awful. I mean, you can use it, it's very powerful, but that, that, the fact that I can't just decide to stay makes it awful. There's a kill right in front of me and I want it and I can't take it. So this is the amount of damage we can do against him. He fires. Getting lifted. And then 100 meters range, not enough. Ooh, yeah, this thing... Use Nitro in your setup. Mm, I don't know if just making it faster fixes it, because... What I don't like about it is that I can't play how I want to play. Oh my god. He literally lifts me out of my teleportation. <laughs> I was already 90% teleported and then I get lifted. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Oh, great. And of course he looks at me immediately. Oh my god, can this stop happening? This stupid push-around nonsense. Oh my god, you never have control over any of your movement. You're just getting wobbled and flubbled around. You have nothing in under control. I jumped. I got pushed away like three times. After that, I'm getting lifted, man. Control, No control all of the time. Terrible gameplay, really. Nothing I can shoot at. Not even for one second is something in line of fire. Okay, there we go. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, this in all these um, movement impacting effects are incredibly annoying. Immediately activates his ability, of course. I got a little shield for a second. I got zero chance here. His reflector is back. At no given time was I even able to attack him. But now, maybe, with reflector being offline. So the guy... Oh, nice. He saw it. He saw that I dropped him to below at low health. Oh, man. 
<laughs> I thought maybe he didn't see it. Again, incredibly bad luck. I shoot him down and leave him with exactly one health point for the enemy. One health point. Easiest thing in the universe to just uh, drop, drop it down. I honestly don't think I'll ever kill him. And this way, definitely not. I wanted to go back on the high position. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see Sheng Lu again. The Sheng Lu has to do Sheng Lu has to do it with uh, with a 100 meter range weapon setup. But he just used his ability, so maybe that gives us a chance. His ability is going to be over now. He's got stealth, but the ability comes back. Wow, dude. Wow. His ability just comes back instantly. I don't think you can win this fight. Not against this robot. Look, I'm reloading now. There's no way I can ever win this fight. It's impossible. It's completely impossible. Because he gets a second ability for, for free at 50%. So... Second match, we're losing again because of meta players using Ohokochis. There is no way to win these fights. Can't win it. So let's run in here. His ability was used. So for a second, we'll be able to do damage. But look how fast he's healing. And that's not even with his ability. His ability is even offline. Right? Right? So while this weapon does a lot of damage, it has to get so close. Orokochi keeps pushing you away. <laughs> Such skill on the Orokochi, yeah. Immense, yeah, right? The, the amount of skill, impressive. Press the ability button, win. <laughs> oh, and at 50%, just press it again. At 50%, he just presses the ability button again, and that is all he's need he needs to do. Look, now I can't control my robot. I can't freely decide to move. Now at 50%, he's gonna get his health, his ability back. See this? He's low health, and he just gets the ability again. An ability so powerful that he becomes completely immune to any damage and gets it back at 50% for free without doing anything right. How can you not win with this? And that is, that is the, the nerfed Ohokochi, my friends. That is the nerfed version. Nupokochis. I even did more damage, but can't win the fight. Let's do another one. Let's do another free fall and see how many Ohokochis are going to ruin the, the Shang Lu. It's good. It's a new robot that gets completely flattened by a nerfed previous release. Just showing... How insanely ridiculous the previously uh, release was. And also, I kept, I keep saying it. I say it a hundred times already and I will keep repeating it. You guys gave an Orokochi the second ability at 50%. What an awful decision that was. To give a robot with literal immunity to damage for 10 seconds the ability to get that ability simply back at 50%. It, it boggles my mind. This is something I kept saying it a million times. You should never have done this because it's wrong. The Orokochi can never have gotten Death Survivor skill or Clever Survivor. What an awful choice. It just shows that Pixonic is not thinking things through when they're doing things. It just, they just want to sell these Orokochis and they literally don't care. That's a Leo. I don't shoot Leos. And they literally don't care about uh, what it will do to the game. How is your last stand still running? Are you kidding me, man? Your last stand was running like eight seconds ago. No, we're not gonna shoot him. All right. Okay, now you actually outweighted my ability. And now I, 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 I teleport away. I didn't want to, I wanted to get my kill. I have no choice but to teleport. The game just teleports me back. I don't want to. I don't want to teleport. I want my kill. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, who dropped him so hard? Okay. Now this guy. It's interesting to jump on different enemies so often. I got him, but it didn't say I got him. And then we're teleporting back. Eh? Wait. This time I didn't teleport back. No, that's the Leo. Stop shooting the Leo. So down to last stand. Did you see that? I literally jumped inside his shield. Stop shooting the Leo. They're all firing at the Leo. Everyone knows you're not firing in late. Oh, he says hi. Enemy one says hi. Uh, wait, I again, I didn't teleport back. So wait, what if you teleport to your last enemy? Can I kill him from inside the shield maybe? Yeah, wow. Quick, quick, quick reaction and you can kill the Orpheon inside the shield when he's low HP. So, I can... Can I... I can mess? Alright, let's force him into ability. He's gonna activate it now. And then I'm just gonna jump on somebody else. Enemy one. Ah, this time I teleported again. No, you don't see me. That's enemy one. He's down to last stand and he gets the no skill second ability at 50%. No matter what, the win is guaranteed. I, I outweighted his ability now and his shotguns are reloading. So I was actually able to, uh, to do this, but, um, Uh, eh? Wow, I jumped far this time. This, the, these teleports come to, to, to such surprising uh, timings for me. <laughs> I one shot at him. Okay, the Orokochi ability is running. Enemy one is there. Let's annoy this Orokochi a little bit. Okay, he's gonna activate his ability again, I think. Boom. Okay. Ah! Wait, I got the kill? With a dot damage, yeah. I got the kill. Okay, interesting. Guess I'm going to have to learn to play this robot a little better. Because sometimes it seems like I can fool this uh, jump by by target by teleporting in the last second at somebody oh sh oh that's enemy one whoops sorry sorry uh, we uh we said we don't shoot huh we were being friendly somehow uh, okay let's try and fool around again i teleported the last second yeah and now i don't teleport back huh Now, obviously, in this case, I should have teleported back. It would have been the better choice. But, uh... Ah, a kid. No, I don't shoot on kids either. It might... It probably... Does, you know what? Let's give him the kill. Come on. Yeah, you deserve it, man. It's probably the guy with the Leo. I feel awful even having this guy in this match. I don't even know how this happened, but... Um... Let's attack. All right, all right. Okay, he's locked now. Whoa! <laughs> shield on me. He's getting new shields. I'm gonna jump on him. No, actually, I'm gonna teleport back. All right, so you can decide to teleport back. I learned this now. Sorry for the confusion and the wrong information at first. You can teleport back, uh, but for this, 
Oh my god, he's jumping on the kid. That does it. That does it with you. Now I'm hitting everybody. I don't even want to do it, but uh, don't really have much of a choice. Come on, enemy three. Get him. Get him, boy. Okay, or me. Doesn't matter. Jumping in the last second to stay here. Yeah, this works. Damn it. I was jumped away. Look how much effort it is to kill this freaking Rook, man. We're working hard. We're working so hard on him. Oh, I got myself killed in the reflector. Oh, man. I, want, I didn't even want to shoot at enemy one, but I killed myself. So, you know what? Now we're bringing a Titan to the... Uh, no longer having a knife to the gunfight. Now we're actually bringing a Titan to the, uh, the gunfight. So, uh, hey, man. Let's, let's end it. Ah, oh, there's still one more. <laughs> knife to a gunfight. Uh... Okay. Alrighty. He's gonna use his ability. No, he wasn't using it. Interesting. Uh... Yo, this is weird. He's not really using... Wait, who is it? Enemy 1 or enemy 3? Am I confused now? Okay. We have to fight it now, buddy. There's nothing else to shoot at anymore. Come on, dude. We have to fight. We have to. Come on. <laughs> we have to fight. There's nothing else to shoot at anymore. Come on. Shoot me at least. Kill me. Kill me. <laughs> he doesn't want to. What are we going to do all the rest of the one minute? All right, you know what? You've been, you've been awesome, my friend. You get that win. We leave the game. That means he was second place. He is now first. It's okay. Protect the kid. I tried, guys. I tried. Freaking kid just still died. The Rook just can't be killed. And also, I think I also damaged the kid while shooting the Rook. Because there's like a, an area cone in front of me where I'm hitting. Um, but, uh... Did I see all the donations? A 70 Canadian dollars. Hey, Manny, I love your videos, bro. I think that was one that I read before, yeah? Just making sure I didn't overlook one. Omnio Circuit. War, war Ojos. <laughs> no, I, I did overlooked this before. Uh, Ominous Circuit. Uh, war Ojos. Yeah, that's the name now. Not War Robots. War Ojos. Uh, Two euros fifty. Thanks you. Thank you, man. Uh, from the EU region, apparently. Uh, Twenty Indian rupees from Hey Bro Cartoon fans, and five from Stefan. I think I caught up with all the donations. Thank you, guys. Um. I have to say right now, the oh no, let's stop playing free fall. Let's play something else. Um, I feel like the uh, the Shen Lu is really powerful if you if you learn how to use the jump and to basically keep the last jump in, so you can use it if you want to stay. You want to stay next to an enemy, you need to keep one jump and use it at the time when your countdown runs out before it runs out. Then you'll teleport onto him. Uh, day two of donating uh, to Manny on live stream. I'm, uh, I'm in a circuit. Hey man, thank you, buddy. <laughs> Appreciate it. <coughs> yeah. So let's see if we can... Ah! Hey, 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 hey. You know what? I'm the teleporter. I'm the teleporter. <laughs> Bye, dude. <laughs> the scorpion just got scorpioned, but a little bit more heavy than... Uh, than he thought it would be. I have to reload soon, but I'm getting him first. Actually, you know what? Let's keep the last jump in. And stay here. Jump on him. Two. One. And now. We should be able to stay here now, right? Oh. No, it didn't work. Dude, that is confusing as hell. <laughs> but maybe I just jumped a little too early. Maybe I should have waited a second longer. But I didn't. I couldn't. I got, I got attacked. Oh, two guys at the same time in front of me. Yeah, boom! <laughs> and there is the this other guy. Hold on, I want you, buddy. You first. You first, then you. That's right. Then this guy. 
a third or fourth kill. Damn, no, I have a reload. Dude, I would have killed like five guys in one jump. Okay, two, one, teleport. Where is, where is he? No, 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 oh, they're shield breaking me. Stop shield breaking me. Actually, I think I have no more shield. They're not shield breaking me. I just have no shields. Oh. Now, <laughs> imagine you are my team who are like, I don't know what they're doing because I'm in the middle of the enemy team and I'm flattening everything. And my team is like all the way back there looking at it from a distance. How would they think about this? What would they think? They see me warping all over the place. Uh, taking down one enemy after another, after another, after another, after another, and after another. In the middle of their... Like, they see me zip, 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 zip. And everybody dies like I'm a hacker, right? But they're always all standing here just... Chill chillaxing from far away. Why? Guys, if the enemy team is under pressure, why wouldn't you make use of that and put the pressure in yourself? This is a scorpion. No, it's not a scorpion. All right, let's go and have some fun with him. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Was there a crisis just shooting me from somewhere? Hey, stop it. Oh, he almost dead. Let's make that a guaranteed death. Haha. <laughs> nice. Then jump on him, harpy boy. Then jump... Uh, no, not jump on him. We're just gonna shoot him like the old-fashioned way. Or are we jumping on him? Fine. Activating some extra stuff here. Shield. Reloading. And the last jump in the last second. Hello! Did I get the... Did I get the behemoth? Did I get him? Dude, I think I just got the behemoth too. But how did I kill a full behemoth in two shots? You think maybe that was a like level one behemoth or something? In the Champions League? Nah. Oh, I almost jumped after him. No! Guys, no, 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 no. Living legend, that's how we do it in the money town. Woo! This guy too, I want him, I want him, I want him. Uh, no! Yeah! I get to stay here now! Shield on me! Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is so annoying! They just, they just even... Look! Even the Okokochi dies almost! I get my next shield, my next ability ready! Okokochi dead! Wow, dude! That is sick! That is sick! And once again, my team is like standing far away and just looking at it from a distance. How I single-handedly just hack hack the entire team into into nowheresville. Oh no! Oh, thankfully he's out of range. I just saw. Oh my god! Somebody locked me down, and now the freaking. Oh my god! Oh my god! I was fine! I was perfectly fine until I received a lockdown that disabled me as I'm trying to run away from the Newton lift. Oh my god, the random lockdown coming into perfect team play. Wow, that was like a one in a million chance what just happened there. Out of all the possible moments, this guy could have sent his stupid Erebus shot to lock me down. He had that very short moment in time window in which I got completely fooled into ha into destruction. Never seen such a terrible lockdown timing before. Ah, he already died. Okay. Taste of your own medicine. Get the glasses. Oh, you mean the uh, the Fulgur Tonans? Well, I'm not using it on a uh, on a Noobton. I'm not running a noobton that per button press disables your robot entirely and kills you. I'm specifically not running it on that thing. So let's see what we've got there. Uh, oh, oh look! There's two luchadors who happen to be in reflector mode. Yeah, that's great. That's great that you just happen to be standing around here. Both in your reflector, both with your jump ready. Wow. <laughs> 
Wow, what a... Alright, you know what? Let's start to play a little more careful. Because uh, I gave three kills to the enemy and they are almost winning now, so... I wonder if maybe they have more... Uh, more stuff. But actually, we have two Newtons. But, ah, he doesn't have the long-range weapons, yeah. That makes sense, I guess. What do we have here? What is that? What's coming up there? It's a Titan. I can't see it. Leave me down, for God's sakes, with this stupid thing. Ah, okay. It's the Erebus. Well, that's a free kill. Suppressing both Titans. He's reflecting, so... I have to reload my weapons. I'm gonna do that now. So this guy is almost dead. Let's jump on him. Why am I not jumping? Huh? I just pressed the jump ability. What just happened? Is it... Did I... I walked out of range? Did I walk out of range while I'm teleporting on him? I just lost an entire jump. Oh my god, I'm playing, I'm playing a lot, uh, uh, <laughs> oh my god, I'm, I'm sitting in, uh, I'm sitting in a blitz, I'm not playing the Shenlu. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> oh man, yeah, god level skills proven today. Um, that's slightly embarrassing, okay, let's lock both, uh, let's have both of them, uh, locked down, no, not locked, uh, suppressed. Shield on me. I'm sitting in a blitz. The stream chat is going crazy. Manny, it's a blitz. <laughs> oh, man. Monster fail. Oh, at least you guys are having your fun there, aren't you? All right, let's wait until his freaking reflector ends. But we, uh... All right. Suppress him. And use the running ability to surprise him, too, with our massive speed. Pop. Yo, the damage output from these weapons is really high. Bro had himself too many cappuccinos. Yep, definitely. Uh, not this again. Ah. Now I'm blinded. Wait, I wasn't blinded. I was EMP'd. I couldn't even activate my ability somehow. Okay. <laughs> wow, Manny. <laughs> uh, that did. Can we just can we just pretend this never happened, please? <laughs> I thought I was sitting in uh, in the Shenlu. I already thought Pixonic made a boo-boo somewhere that the teleport somehow didn't work. I thought I just w ran out of range or something. <laughs> oh man, never happened, okay? Pop, execute. That's how we do it in the money town. Let's teleport wherever this goes. Hey, hey, woo! Um, can I use this back? I don't, I don't think so, huh? There's six seconds left on the clock. He's just gonna jump away. Actually, wait a minute. Oh! I think we needed one more second. We would have gotten him. That's not coffee, by the way. That's tea. Huh. We did a lot of damage. We got 23 kills. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> My blitz just wouldn't want to teleport. I tried so hard. It just didn't do it. Why do you think the Titan drones will ever come? Uh, I, I hope they will never come. But if when Pixonic wants some more money, then uh, you bet it's there instantly. Uh, what is going on here? Ah, Okochi in front of us. He's gone. Oh, I'm getting shot from far away. Let's just walk away and reload our weapon. Six seconds reload and then my weapon is pretty much empty. Yeah, that's... Okay, and... Teleport! Oh, no. I wanted to teleport onto him. See, again, I couldn't finish him off. And somehow... I also wasn't able to... So we have one beacon only. 
Ah, I see. He's just staying far away. It's okay. Uh, this time he's actually helping me teleport. So, there we go. I was suppressed. That's good. I'm blinded, but in this case it doesn't matter. Oh, actually, it matters because now I can't jump on anybody. Because of the blinding, I can't jump on anybody. Okay, we almost dropped him, but he gets the second ability off, unfortunately. See? No skill second ability, you can't do nothing about it. It will just happen. No matter his the skill level of that player, no matter what he does, he will get the second ability no matter what, and, uh, and that will just kill you. It doesn't matter what robot you're playing, it doesn't matter how well you do it, you just get killed by the second invincibility that he's got. Pushing you continuously and so on. And then you look at him, the guy who's, he was just at 20% health a second ago. Now he's back to 90%. I have to wait out his ability, then I can jump on him. This time he will not get it back because he already had the 50% noob skill ability at 50% uh, before. So this time we could take him down. I need to capture the beacon. So he dropped the turret. I, I, I hit him so hard a turret fell out of his popo. <laughs> what do you got there? Ow, ow. No, 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 no. He's stealth now. Okay, I'm warping everywhere. One more time, behind him. I mean, I can be really annoying to the enemy team. And now we're warping back where we came from. <laughs> behind this guy. Hi. Oh, and here we go again. You know, it makes me want to quit the game, seriously. This nonsense with this god-awful choke. It makes me want to exit. It's just... Here we go again. How many do you have over there? Two? Ah, it's enough to ruin the game. One of them is enough to ruin the game. Okay, we can do some good damage to him. And there we go again. Yeah, so much fun. So I'm just gonna make one shot before the game ends. I barely move out of my thing here to take one hit. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's gonna be a video coming about the uh, Newton Titan, by the way. This guy has a really cool um, uh, new uh, Nodens. Nuke, uh, nuke a Newton challenge. Nuke a Newton. Cool, this works with the Newton too. Nuke a Rook. Nuke a Newton. <laughs> I like it. But uh, no, I'm afraid there is something very much dras more drastic coming, ladies and gentlemen. Something very, very drastic. I'm not going to take this god awful uh, gameplay any longer with Newtons. I'm not going to accept it any longer. Been, it's we it's 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 enough it's enough it's been enough we have suffered enough through their greed and through their desire to make great sales with this stupid titan it's enough it's been freaking enough man i'm telling you i'm dead serious with this there's gonna be a big video coming up get ready for something very serious guys this is, game is literally dead the Newton is single-handedly responsible for this da game being a complete shit show. Sorry to say it like this, it is a complete shit show. And this Newton Titan is single-handedly responsible for, for it. Yeah, I guess you underestimated uh, your enemy here, my friend, huh? Pop! There he goes. Nice, we're reloading. That was an entire Kiri robot. But I also got hit from behind, I think, from this guy or something. Uh, 
Let's see what we can do. My teleport just happened. All right. Oh. Wow, I kill him faster. Let's jump on the Demeter. From here, jump. Nothing is in range. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah, here we go. Nupukochi. Okay. Obviously, I will be pushed away instantly. And we're teleporting back into safety. Calm down, Manny. Uh, well, I, uh, I'm okay. Whoa, hold on. What's going on? Who's shooting me? Ah, this guy. I didn't even see him. He was stealth, but... I couldn't move. This guy is running his uh, Orokochi ability right now, so there isn't really any point to... Um, Oh my god, is this ever going to stop? Jesus Christ, I've just got teleport boots 400 meters. Teleport boots 400 meters. God, this game is terrible. Jesus Christ. What am I playing here? Ugh. Here, look. Both of their abilities are running completely indefinitely. Before they were running, I respawn. Abilities are running again. Okay, so this guy had his ability, should go offline any second now. Now we can actually do a little bit of damage here. But look how much damage we're doing. This is enough damage to one hit kill pretty much any Titan in the game. But we can barely scratch the paint of this Orokochi. Unbelievable. This guy ability is running. This guy's ability is running. Let me just kill myself, man. Jesus Christ. New Orokochi ability, 90% running. Whenever you see him, ability is active. Oh, man. I'd rather run a regular robot than, uh, than the t Titan at that point. Because the Titan isn't really doing any damage either. Nobody's doing damage against the Orokochi. And as a regular robot, at least I can jump around and do different things. Oh, cool. There's a Newton. That means my gameplay is over now. Alright, let's see if we can drop this behemoth. Teleporting back and there we go with the lift. Thankfully this time he lifted me, but I was able to jump away uh, I may have to wait. I'm still getting shot. Wow uh, I think my chat got stuck hold on Yeah, there we go So yeah guys if you if you're not in the Champions League and you're wondering how the gameplay in the Champions League is it's it's this. This is what the gameplay looks like in the Champions League. Pop the Newton from behind me that I knew was there. So the enemy team seems to have a lot more Orokochis than we are do. And uh, so we uh, just die. No chance. But he's gonna be dead now any anyways. He has 1% health and still survives for his entire ability duration. This is so unbelievable. Oh god. Awful, awful gameplay experience. Terrible gameplay experience. I don't even want to spawn a robot. I don't even want to. Now, unfortunately, I only have 100 meters range, so that blitz is not made for that battle. And same goes for the Lynx. Uh, we are, are going to get killed without even getting in range. Um. And once I come out of this, 
I'm simply gonna be made a uh, hover. He's simply gonna hover me and that's it. Just lost my last stand in 0.1 second, of course. Good. Th good, this torture is finally over. That was just one Newton. One Newton. One. Only one. My gameplay got completely destroyed. There was no more fun to be had, no more gameplay. Everything was upset and broken from just one Newton. Yep. <clears throat> I actually want to stop playing this terrible game right now. I'm really, I'm just, at this point, I'm so pissed. I don't want to play this anymore. You know, maybe should every player should just do this. Every player should just do this. Uh, you get lifted, exit, leave game, finish. Choke ability, exit, leave game, finish. Choke ability, leave, AFK, exit, finish. Every player will do, uh, should do it. Seriously, I'm, I'm not... I don't want to play it right now. It's not fun. It's, it's, it, it, it's okay for as long as there are uh, no Newtons. You know, and I'm even playing a, re a new robot and I play this stuff in max condition. And even for me still, it's... I, I just don't like this gameplay. I don't like what has become of this game uh, when you uh, can just basically destroy someone per button press with the Newton. Or alternatively, uh, you just hop into the Nupokochi and you basically just become invincible to anything. No one can ever fi even fight you anymore. Uh... Oh, he's behind me. I didn't know where he was. Can we still drop the dag in here? Yep. Last stand is gone. Hold on, this guy's low health. Oh, got him before uh, we dropped out. I don't think I'll be making much use of that shield anymore. Actually, I uh, at least I get to survive long enough for another ability run. Orokochi down to low health. Nice, okay, I didn't expect that. So, you can have some really good moments with the Shen Lu, of course, for as long as the ability, uh, the, uh, there are no Newtons in the game. Orokochis are already problematic, but maybe you could jump on different things. You don't have to jump on an Orokochi. If there is not everybody is an Orokochi, you can choose, choose other targets, it's okay. Uh, but the Newtons are, not, uh, are different because you can't just say, I just choose a different target because the Newton simply chooses you and that's when your gameplay is over, you know? So that's the problem. There's no way to avoid this Newton. Because he can just uh, say, you need to die and then you basically die, that's it. So I canceled my teleport back by jumping just in time on him. So, nice. When is the Dagen giveaway? You mean the winners? I already announced them in uh, a recent video. Wow, I'm hitting three guys simultaneously. Wow. I, I mean, this this really makes this weapon stand out as, as the best weapon in the game. When you can just uh, hit three people at the same time with it. And then do this much damage on top. That's really insane. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. Let's jump on him. Even if I get blinded, it will be no problem. Because I can shoot him without seeing him. I'm jumping behind them now so that... For a second, I'm, I'm good. Then I want to jump. The last second here, so I don't jump away. Activate a shield. That was an entire Indra Titan somehow. Okay. Oh, ah, maybe I got help. Maybe somebody helped me with it uh, from far away. Because I don't think I can drop an Indra Titan in, two, in one second. I must have gotten help from somewhere. 
Oh, look, I, I couldn't do damage to him. Weird. Huh? And now he's going down so quick? The heck? Ah, he, he okay, he had the... Um... Oh, three guys in front of me at the same time. I'm hitting all of those. Including the Newton Titan. Boom, Titan Slayer. Boom, Titan Slayer. What? Okay, jump on him one more time so I can stay here. Face shift through his lasso. Uh, okay, I can hit him. Then we have the battleship ready for our shield. Now that is really insane. These weapons... Again, I think these weapons deal a bit too much damage for their short range. However, with only 100 meters range... These weapons will probably never overperform as much as, for example, um, uh, Tamer uh, and uh, Damper do. Reloading. Jump in the last second here, and now. Damn it, I can't see him. All right, this guy is in stealth, but you see, doesn't matter. He's locked. Probably he's last standing. Yeah, he was. Probably had last stand for a while. All right. <clears throat> I think this release, I, I, just so I don't say only negative things here. Um, this release, I believe is actually, uh, it's, it's okay in this update. We have a few balancing changes that are not enough, but they're uh, that are there. The Newton is not included, which is a scandal. Um, but uh, that's why my video is coming up soon. Um, but this release, I think, is actually kind of okay. The Shenlu is extremely powerful, but I believe once people learn to fight it and they learn to expect its jumps, they will they will be more more powerful in fighting back. The Shenlu is, itself gets killed relatively quickly. Although 327,000 is like every robot is a tank now. Even quick light assassin robots like this clearly is, is a tank. It's like War Robots Power Creep 101 right here. Everything is always better than the, the previous stuff. Um, but the, I think generally still I have to say I believe this release is actually okay. Um... For the reason that the weapon has only 100 meters range, so it's not gonna be a weapon that completely upsets the health of the game so much. Being able to one-tap people at maximum range instantly. So this is not going to happen. Oh boy. Um. Hey, I didn't want to jump here. Uh. Uh, and at the same time, the robot, uh, it's strong, but it's also not... I think I'm predicting it will not break everything. But killing three guys at the same time is pretty crazy. Not gonna lie. Holy smokes, there's two or th two more guys. Oh no, I have to reload. Behind him. And jumping at him on the last second, here we go. Look how fast he's dropping, he doesn't even understand what the heck is going on. He activates a second no skill ability, but he's still almost destroyed. Uh, but he's pulling me, pulling me so much around I can't even move. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was an insane run. That was a sick run. Uh, let's use the Lynx a little bit. Now what do you- no, <laughs> they're over flying over each other. What do you think will happen when you use these weapons on, uh, on an Ohokochi? Right? What do you think is going to happen then? Because you can put these weapons on an Ohokochi too. And then what? Right? Come on. I have to reload now. Ugh. Terrible timing for a reload, as usual. But, you know, I think every timing for a reload is terrible timing. Probably, there is probably never good timing for a reload anyways. 
Come on, last stand. Longest last stand I've ever seen. I, I'm still in Gold League and I have some time to enjoy. Sa uh, Jan Fair says, yeah. Uh, I mean, not every match is as bad as the ones we had previously. There are some good matches. This one here, for example, we didn't have to worry with a single Newton. But really, if a game is fun or not, depends on how many Newtons is in there. Is there there's two Mutants or uh, already it's pretty much unplayable. Um, unless your team spawns also two Newtons and they fight each other and there's none of them left, <laughs> then, then the game is fun. Then it's okay. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah. Typically, that is not so often the case. Sheng Lu giveaway. And by the way, it's 2 a.m. here. Whoa, it's 2 a.m. and you're still up, man. Uh, thanks for watching, buddy. Uh, appreciate it. Even though this live stream today is not really that good mood of a stream. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I could not provide you with a constant stream of good mood this time. Um, but we just had a, a massive rebalance and the Newton is not in the list. Absolutely unacceptable. Completely unacceptable for me. Uh, but this here is also kind of unacceptable, right? I just jumped through the entire map. I literally jumped into the enemy base spawn now. They, I don't think they even know that I'm here. And I'm jumping here so, so I can stay here. Phase shifting. Look, I'm still here. I jumped forward throughout the entire map into the enemy base spawn. And they're not even really sure what the heck is going on. Let's jump behind everybody. Because they won't see that coming. They will like, we'll be like, okay, he jumped away. Finally, we're, we're done. He's not no longer here. But uh, I am actually still here. Still here. Still here. Shield on me. Still here. <laughs> wow, dude. That is insane. So you jump from enemy to enemy to enemy and then you cross like 1,000 meters. I don't even want to play the Titan because he's got those uh, Fulgua Tonans on it. I, I recorded a video with it. But those weapons... Although they have been nerfed. No, actually, wait. No, no, no. They have not been nerfed. No, uh, okay, I'm confusing something right now with uh, this other list of changes that I showed you yesterday. That was just um, maybe somebody's wish or so. But it gave me an opportunity to talk over things we need. Uh, and so what I'm going to do here, I'm not going to fight this Rook. I'm just using it as a jump point, And then I'm jumping further into the enemy team. Like so. <laughs> Inside his shield. Okay, hello, you guys are plenty. I'm gonna ju jump back, but uh, I kind of wanted to get the Typhon kill. I, I almost killed myself for it. That was not worth it. That attack was not worth it. People keep asking Shen Lu giveaway. Uh, yeah, not yet. I, I don't have confirmation of any giveaway I can do. Not at this point. Maybe I will uh, later. For now, I have no giveaway at this point. Um, I guess uh, I'll, I'll ask around if uh, if Pixonic is giving uh, prices away. And I think they are. So I'm assuming there will be a Shen Lu giveaway, but at this point, I can't confirm it. Hey. Who's doing this? Uh -huh. My th flamethrowers go through the shield on uh, on the roof, but of course I got suppressed by him. Now we're doing a lot of damage to him. Oh no, eyes on me just gifted another 10 subs. <laughs> eyes on me, man. What the heck? Another tw So that's 20 again, yeah? All right. Let's keep let's keep doing no damage to uh, <laughs> uh, to this rook. Three, four people doing everything they can, and we finally get him. Cool. 
<coughs> we are, however, winning this match, even though it doesn't look like it. Aua! That hurt a little. Uh, what is going on here? There's a lot of stuff happening right now. Uh oh. Okay, who? Where is he? No, what? Oh god, I teleported like 700 meters back. I wanted to jump on the on the Newton now. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that jump really. You have to learn how to play it. You should. You can never forget about your timing. You can never forget about when you will uh, do the back jump. Because if you want to stay, you have to reserve one jump and activate it in the last split second before teleporting back. This is the only way you cannot jump back. So again, eyes on me. Thanks for uh, contributing, man. Living Legend has become a sponsor. That looks pretty awesome on stream there, man. Living Legend has become a sponsor. That's good. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, what else can we do? Yeah, let's do uh, maybe one last match or so for tonight. I, I think I want to end a little sooner maybe today. Um, but uh, let's start with the Blitz. Yo, Manny, what, do, what to do against cheater, cheaters? I mean, it's depressing when you come to the game and there is only one guy killing your entire team. Yeah, but the thing is... You have the same thing now happening without cheaters, right? So the di the, dis the di distance or the, the difference between cheaters and um, Nupukochis in max form, for example, right? There isn't really too much of a difference between those anymore. I saw you, Crisis. I saw you. Okay, my team should have this one in the back. Let's see if we can attack this guy. Oh, he gets a shield off. Interesting. He jumps on me and I have to reload. Uh-oh. Face shift before I lose my last stand. Let's kill the crisis. And this guy together. Wow. That is insane. So he's face shifting too. Ah! <laughs> All right, but hey, that was not bad for a blitz. That was not bad for the blitz robot. So, let's visit the enemy base. No, I don't want to jump on the angler. Let's choose the Curie for now. Oh, actually, that's not a Curie. That's an Orokochi there. Uh, Crisis has shot me from the side. Uh, no, I wanted to jump on the Crisis now. Damn it. Uh, Labris killed me. Okay. You know what? This time, I'm gonna take the Crisis Robots out. That's what I can do very well. Jump here. Look back. For when they open fire at something. There it is. One of them just did. So let's jump up here. And say hello, Crisis! Yeah, I think the Crisis Robots just got themselves a new enemy. Yeah, the crisis just got a whole new level of problem. <laughs> I just took took out both crisis robot and just teleported set back into safety. All right, nice, good to see the crisis robots. They uh, they have a bit of a new enemy to deal with now. Oh, okay. Face shift. It's not enough, buddy. Is that another crisis? I guess we're gonna find out. Oh no, that's not a crisis. It's a, it's a Noopton. Let's teleport behind him. He's like, what the heck? Teleport behind him again. He's like, what the heck? <laughs> uh oh, oh God, I think I made a mistake. Yeah! I didn't, uh, I wanted to act, this time I actually wanted to jump back into safety. No, haha, <laughs> behind him. Oh, another one. Okay, let's keep going. He doesn't even know where he's getting shot from. But unfortunately now, there's too many things just shooting me. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, now it's, it's, let's use the Titan. Almost gotten the uh, Newton there. There we go. You know, if these weapons are being used to kill other Newtons, I'm fine with it. Uh, but um, I think the worst things is on the Newton itself. If you just run them on something else, they are still broken and annoying. But I think the Newton really is the thing that makes it so ridiculous. All right, I got a lot of health here. Enemy spawning an Arthur. Uh, let's see if we can jump high up over the Arthur and bypass his physical shields from high up. Because this way I don't have to actually fight the shield on him. This is how you kill an Arthur without any problems using any flying robot. You just get up right over him. Nice lockdown and EMP. Okay. Ohokochi just started in his ability. All right. Too many Orpheons, uh, Nick Warobot says. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of them. Um, but the Orpheon, if you shield break him, you can kill him, you know? What can you do against an Ohokochi? You, you, you can shield break him. Um, and he will get that second no skill sec ability at 50%. There's no avoiding that unless you really fire at him with like five, six guys at the same time. Then they can accumulate, accumulate so much damage that he drops below 50% while his first ability is running. Then he wouldn't get the first ability. But if you're trying it alone... It's pretty much impossible. All right, let's, wa let's do one last. So while you while the Orpheon is extreme, extremely powerful, extremely annoying, but there is a way to deal with them. There is no way to deal with an Orokochi. There is just no way. Other than bringing just ludicrous amounts of firepower that, that would be enough to drop a Titan in a few seconds. You know? Uh, and two guys are not enough for that. You need more. All doing per per perfect focus fire while the Orokochi is bouncing you around too. So I'm jumping at the guy in the back. The one all the way back. Because this way I can sneak in from behind all that damage. Look, they didn't expect any of this. It's because I didn't focus the guy that was in front of us. I focused the guy in the back with a jump. And so I arrived behind everybody. Uh, I'm gonna jump. No, actually, wait. I think I can jump on him and stay there. Now. Wow, I just uh, was turned the wrong way. <laughs> but look at the damage we're doing with these weapons. Even the Curie just goes down so easily. That is, however, a bit of a problem now. Jumping on him. Then from here, jumping on him. And being back in safety. Very interesting, right? We were just in complete Deathland territory there. Now I'm capturing the beacon, and from here, I can even jump on him or not jump. And pop another one of those guys. Wow. Uh oh. Oh, hello! <laughs> oh, God. Yup, I think I'm dead. Uh. Just for the record. I didn't do that jump. <laughs> uh, at least I didn't intentionally jump back. That was the end of my ability and the robot decided to jump back to it, so... Mm. I think this is an interesting setup here with the uh, Halo and the Igniters. Especially since you jump so close to the enemy that you can utilize that very well. But look, the Igniters are empty again. Because they're always empty. These freaking weapons are always empty. And they're already empty again? Oh, not this again. Alright, he's not coming for me. Is he? Is he trying to come for me? You know what happens when you land, right, buddy? You know? Alright, I'm getting shield broken by... Um, this guy. But the good news is, I can take revenge. 
at least for a second until he activates his ability. Ah! Wow. I jumped into the line of fire of the Sharenga, so he just hit the fire button and I jumped and I was <laughs> he would even after my teleport still hit me. Um, is Shang Lu an attacker, tank, or a beacon capper? Uh, no, Sh Shang Lu is an assassin. Like a scorpion. He's basically the same thing as a scorpion. Cool, I jump on him and just as he activates his reflector. Just my luck. Just my goddamn luck. Let's jump behind him. He just emptied his entire clip. So I thought anyways. There goes my last stand. Ah, a, a titan is still a titan. A titan is still an enemy to be uh, worried about. Uh, oh my god. I didn't jump. I didn't get my full firepower out. Oh man. Okay. Somebody killed the Sharenga. It wasn't me. I only damaged him. Uh-ohs. Look at that thing. <laughs> uh, but he's a one-hit kill. Because it's a... It's a... It's a poor... Ao Ming. It's a Gen 1 Titan. Now we are at Generation 7 or 8, right? Gen 7 Titans. Uh, but... Um, yeah. That was a Gen 1, and so you kill it in one shot. That's that's It's that simple. I just did way delayed damage to him. Did, what what happened? Did you see that? I did mad delayed damage to the Newton Titan. He died like way too late. Wow, uh, Curious Soul is getting every kill here. All right. So yeah, ladies and gents, sorry for the terrible mood before, uh, but yeah, I think the game is really. It, it there are matches where it plays great and it's fun, and then there are these matches that just play awful, where it's the game is just no fun. When there's like half the enemies are constant Orochi, and you do you just get bounced around and flibbled around the map, and you just you're just a punching ball for these Nupo co uh, coaches there, uh, and the other f uh, matches where you just get lifted constantly from. Stupid choke where you don't even get a, an immunity to it after getting choked. Like, how... There's a bad word that I find in my head. How stupid is this? Um, to design it this way. And uh, yeah, there are some matches that are just no fun. And when those happen a few times in a row, then I really just don't want to play this stupid game. Um, then there are these matches that are great. They're fun. Where it's it's nice gameplay. You have maybe one or two Orochis, but you have them on both sides. And so they also fight each other. And things are kind of balanced in this way. Uh, maybe there's a Newton in the enemy team, but he doesn't always focus you with a choke. Sometimes you and sometimes you know, someone else. And maybe you have a Newton yourself and they fight each other. You know, those matches are fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but that's not the reality in War Robots, at least not all of the time. And when these things happen that are crazy, then eh, the game is just terrible uh, in that moment. In that moment, I just want to uninstall this piece of garbage. That's how I feel in this moment, you know? And then next moment, it's fun again. But um, I guess uh, you guys can relate to that. I feel like every player uh, has these moments. But yeah, for now, I want to thank you guys for <coughs> sorry uh, being here, for watching the stream in the first place. And secondly... Also for, um, you know, having uh, the patience to deal with uh, with even the bad moments that I have. And of course, thirdly, the guys who contributed, I especially mention to those, um, every donation made here. Thank you guys, I appreciate that. Um, also for the gifted subs, that is really amazing. That helps me out a lot and it, it, it actually makes it so much fun for me to stream, start streaming every uh, every Wednesday because I know man you guys are really excited for it, you have been waiting for it and it, it seems like you are really enjoying it. So. Thank you guys for being here, and I uh, catch you in the next videos. Thank you, and bye-bye.